Now, of course, we can, we can move that variable around and have it in different locations. Let's try this one, log base x of 9 equals 2. Can you still write that as an exponential? What do you think? Well, go ahead and do it now. I'll give you about five seconds. It should be pretty quick for you to write that as an exponential. What's your base? What's your power? Two. Equals what? Nine. Oh. Have you seen those before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How do you solve that? Square root. Take a square root. Sure, take a square root. Now, I want you to know something on the board here real quick, okay? If you take a square root of this, like that, right? Like that. You're supposed to have what here? Good. And that would give you x equals 3 and negative 3. Do you follow me? Now, there's one thing about logarithms that we, we talked about. We just I had it on the board a little while ago. You probably didn't know why it was important, but here is, is why it's important. Notice that your x in this case was a base. Your base has some conditions to it. First thing, it's never going to be able to equal to 1. Second thing, it's going to be greater than 0. Do you have that on your paper? Which one of these is not greater than 0? That negative 3 is a false solution. You can cross it out. And it would say 3 to the second gives you 9. Does that work for you? And that's the right answer. That's a correct solution. Let's try a few more up here. Are you liking this, liking this logarithm stuff? It's kind of interesting you learned something new today, right? It's not that bad as long as you know how to get from a logarithm to an exponential. If you forget that, then yeah, it's, it's bad because you're not, you don't know how to do it. Can you write that as an exponential? Good deal. What's your base? Seven's your base. What's your power? X equals? Is there a way that you can get from here to here? Do you know how much X equals? Negative? What? It's got to be negative, right? So X is negative one. In fact, you know what? You can do this. If you look at this, this should look exactly like your homework book that you just turned in, shouldn't it? Doesn't that look the same to you? In fact, it shows you one of those negatives that said, well, hey, the first thing you're supposed to do when solving exponentials, this is going to tie everything together. Look at it. The first thing you're supposed to do is get common bases, aren't you? This would be 7 to the x equals, this is 7 to the negative 1. Remember how we move up that, that number to get that negative 1? Look at that. Are the bases the same? Yeah. What's it tell you? If the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal. You are solving exponentials again, folks. We're now just translating from logarithms into exponentials, and now you have a way to solve it. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah. As long as you can translate to exponentials, you got it. Log base 2 of 1 equals x. This is going to show you something about logarithms here. If I write this as an exponential, What's your base? Yeah, two. To the x equals one. Okay, now you tell me, what's the only way in the world I can get from two to the x and make it equal to one? What does the x have to absolutely be? Zero. zero. Absolutely, it has to be zero. Now here's the question for you. Do you, do you understand why it's gotta be zero? Yeah. Mm -hmm. to the, the question is, if I change this base to anything, is this answer going to change? No. So if I say, oh, now the base is 5. So that would be 5. Is x still equal to 0? Yes. Here's what this says. A little, just a little property. Log base anything of 1. Log base anything of 1 gives you, what is that? That's a property right there. If you have a logarithm of 1, no matter what the base is, it's going to equal 0. So on your paper, every time you see log, if that's a 1, if, if whatever your base is, it doesn't even matter. Log base whatever of 1, it's going to be 0. 
Do you see why? Because it says no matter what you have, you have to raise it to a zero power in order to get one. That's how exponentials work. That's how this works. So that's just a little property that we have up here. An important one. Let me show you a couple other properties that, that we've got. We'll call these things some, some notes. The first one, I'll organize it for you. The first one's this one. log base b of 1 equals 0. I'll give you the reason why off to the right. Of course, it's because b to the 0 equals 1. Check. Works. Log base b of 1 has to equal 0 because any base to the 0 power gives you 1. This is, this is the property. This is the reason why. I put a little check mark to make sure that you know it's true. True statement. Here's a couple other, these ones are really interesting. Well, they're, they're, they're interesting to me. I'm going to make them interesting to you. See how that works? Kind of cool. All right, here we go. Log base b of b to the x equals what? Oh my gosh, that looks really confusing. Wow, you guys are good. Why x? Because it's b raised to x power. Check it out. What is your, your base here? So this says, watch, b to what? This is what right now. b to the what equals b to the x. If your bases are the same, what do you know about your exponents? So then this would absolutely have to be an x, true? Then this is an x. You guys are right, very good. And that's because b to the x equals b to the x. I have that right here. Okay, third one. How about that one? Hey, that looks even nastier. That's even worse. Well, this is actually an exponential. Do you see it? It's a base raised to a power equal something. Do you see it? Let's write that as a logarithm. If I wrote this as a logarithm, here's what it would do. It would say log of my base would equal my power. Do you see how, how you can translate from here to a logarithm? Are you guys okay with that? It says log base b, log base b of question mark, I don't know what that is, equals my power, because that's my exponent in this particular case. Hey, what does that have to be in order to make these things exactly the same? That's got to be an x. Do you see that that has to be an x? So this, if that has to be an x, means this has to be an x. Why? Well, because of this thing right there. Now, why did you just learn those cool properties? Well, check it out. Sometimes that makes your logarithms very, very, very easy to do. For instance, if you see some of these problems on your paper, we're going to use these properties later to, uh, to solve some exponentials and to solve some logarithms. If you see this on your paper, and you go, oh, what's log base 6 of 6 to the third? Well, what's that look like? Property 1, property 2, or property 3? What do you think? Does it look like this one? Three. Yeah. This one? It doesn't look like that one because there's no, no base to a power. But it sure does look like that one, doesn't it? How much is that going to equal? Here's what this basically says here. It says if your bases are the same, if they simplify out of your they, they pretty much, if you want to say cancel out, they cancel out. You're going to get the exponent. If your bases are the same, look at that, bases are the same you're going to get that x right there. So in our case up here, you go, oh yeah, those bases are identical, you're going to get 3. Do you have to show any work? No, it's a property. If your bases are the same, you're going to get that exponent. 
And the reason why is because if you were to write that as an exponential, you'd have your common bases already. Your base would equal your base. You'd know your exponents had to be the same. That's the properties of exponents we've already covered. Isn't that kind of nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah. Jeez, I think that's beautiful. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> Let's you do a lot of work for free. For instance, if you look at that, you should be able to tell me immediately what that answer is. What is that answer? Negative four. Yeah, where are you getting the negative four from? How do you know for a fact it's going to be negative four? Well, well, look, your bases are the same, right? That means if you set that up as an exponential, your bases would be the same, and this and this stand for an exponent. That has to be negative four. Now that one looks a little bit different, but the same principle applies. We have an exponential now, but if we were to write this as a logarithm, this would be the inside part, and this stands for the inside part of some sort of logarithm. So what does this have to be? Five. That would have to be five. If your bases are the same, it means your logarithms are going to have to be identical along with the inside part of those, we would have the five. How about 3 to the log base 3 of 10? Everybody, how much is 3 to the log base 3 of 10? 10. 10, sure. Absolutely. And your test, aren't you going to want about uh, 30 of those? Just call it a day. Yeah, no, right? Too bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy. That would be nice, though. Try a couple of these on your own, and then we'll, we'll continue. Let's do... Uh, Log base 5, 5 to the negative 2, log to the log base 9. Why? Because of that property right there. Because of that one. We know that those exponents would have to be the same. How about this one? Four. Four. Nice. Exactly right. Would you raise your hand feel okay on these three things? Don't raise your hand yet. You don't know what I asked. <laughs> Firstly, tra <laughs> translating from exponentials to logarithms. Logarithms to exponentials, still. And now solving these things as well. Including these problems. Good. Okay. Fantastic. Last thing we got to talk about what do the graphs of logarithms? Let's talk about graph. Energy level just went down. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Well, here's the deal, all right? If we are trying to find the inverse of this, which is an exponential, oops, no, it's not. This is like that. And we try to find the inverse. So this is back to our original problem. We, of course, have y equals 2 to the x. You'd tell me x equals 2 to the y. That's how inverses are found, is by writing the y equals and switching those variables, y with x. And then you 